And it is the top of this is in 78 in France. And maybe 83 in the top of the In the network and it is a limitation of the power in the unit of Germany. He developed for his work on the image basis of monetary logic and computational group theory. He's the author of two textbooks on discrete uh, mathematics, the editor of the book of traces, that uh, you may have seen. And he's the author of about 60 journal and 60 conference papers. He's the recent volume of the New York Times. And he's the editor of the portrait. Member of the editorial board of Sport Jones. And then the steering committee of several conferences, special DOT, CSR, and GAGK. Okay, so Walker is going to give a presentation on monitors and vision commentary, and uh, we're looking forward to all the contribution. Yeah, thank you very much, Martin. And before I start the talk, as you heard, it's the last talk of the White Speaker at this conference, so I think uh, I can speak on behalf of all invited speakers. We thank you very much to our organizing committee and particular Frank and this team for all the fantastic work he has done here. And everything is so successful. And uh, yeah, thank you very much, first of all. Uh, two more reasons that I say this before my lecture and after the lecture. So after the lecture, I will take a taxi to the airport. And, uh, and I will be on schedule, but there's not much room. And another thing is that I like, I can say before my talk, that the invited talks are really great. All the invited talks are first of all great. Okay, now uh, let's come to my talk. So, about motivation, why I speak about this was a bit because when I got the invitation, I knew that Martin is here and uh, Martin and I have collaborated a little bit on monitors. And I knew that Martin would give a course in the summer school on related things. So I thought, oh, that's good. And everybody is in the summer school and they'll be here and everybody's so prepared. So I don't know, has anybody been in the summer school for the lecture of Martin? I don't know. Okay, so I don't know whether I have a lot of new things to say, particularly for those of you who attended Martin's lecture, so uh, I will actually have my talk in three parts. So that's part one, and this is more a general introduction, so my view on monitorable languages. Martin said I'm from theoretical computer science, so it will be very theoretical. Yeah, so I, it's more a mathematical basis, but there is really, I think, nothing to do with here. And I use an classic notion of purely insights. Then I come to part two. Uh, it's about the sizability question, and there will be a proof, sort of proof. Yeah, so we use Kelvin. And then the next thing is more an output again. It's more so, so these three parts, you know, I think we start. I go with the Vega Swiss, and let's introduce to my view of the traditional view of my view of the So, uh, start first, uh, according, according to the talk of the uh, year, formal methods, there is a success story of model checking. Right? So, model checking. What is model checking from an automata theoretical perspective? So from the automated theoretical perspective, it's like this. We check the real system with respect to a given specification which is written somehow. Nobody knows how it's written or nobody knows how the specification is written. And what we want is a task now is, I don't say, uh, how to check it for some specification. Also. And an example actually, which is I think quite impressive, and I know that they did a lot of all work. So it's not a not an example by chance, so it's really a uh, challenging thing. Uh, maybe you have heard of the Dutch network systems, started in the 70s, 60s, the whole thing. 
And it's a huge system. It consists of dams, pieces, dots, guys, leaves, storms, birds, trees. And one of the main specifications of the system, and that was the first place you think, how can you borrow it? It doesn't ever happen. They had really worried about the things that the complicated controlling of things could happen that suddenly everything opens and the Netherlands will fly. So one of the uh, motivations I learned at that time was to do formal methods exactly to prevent this. The Netherlands should not be flooded. But then the Americans and Chinese came and they would have so much time on this. Carbon dioxide river. So it's, it's someday they will just flood. They claim it the most dreadful. It was the beautiful formal methods. Beautiful form methods. So okay, think about this. So, what is the solution to this? Of course, engineering. Engineering is the solution. But on the actual view, it's all abstraction from methods and control. Of course, at the end, you want to control it. But the first step of control is monitoring. Let me just monitor that the Netherlands is not flat. First thing you do. And uh, so, what, what is the theoretical approach to education? Now, we start with our system. We do abstraction, of course. And, uh, Automata, we do a finite transition system, usually it doesn't have any finite states, the randomness of the system, then form a set of omega. That's a model. Then we have the specification. The specification is stated in a sentence, and we'd like to have some logic introduced with some form of statement at least. And the good thing is, it should be such that the specification is again a subset of infinite sequences, maybe it goes in jeopardy. Then the next step is, you know, we check, we want to check that the system satisfies the specification. So it's the same thing as showing that this is empty. So the solution is, as we learned also in the lecture by Moshe, he said that what we do is, well, oh, let's start with the pre-judgment and qualification of this form. Now, uh, this is exponential goal, usually. But the good thing is specifications are small. Specification uses already like a public uh, number for context free languages. No? For all exist, for all exist. No? And your, your brain is not done. So usually the specification, at least you can understand, you can hold it. So it will be small. So the exponential go up here is okay. That's it. Because we can that. That's the only thing. Now the system is huge. It has so many states. If there are 100 parameters, they have 200 states. So this is a huge system usually. But you're like, ah, maybe not that large. So you still can build the product. It's polynomial, so it's exponential here, but it's small, and it's fine. And then the simple thing is once you get done there, then the last thing is easy. That's good. And then we do a graph reachability problem, and there are many techniques to do it, and you'll be in parallel or uh, good time, almost the end time. Yeah. So that's it, it's better. No, there's no free lunch. No. You can think it's not true. You, you got a free lunch just half an hour ago, and you paid for it. Don't forget, pay registration fee. So there's no free lunch. That's a general. By the way, that's a mathematical statement. Uh, so there are some here's the supplementary problems. The abstract system might be over communication, so it might make it a sort of problem, but it uh, might have simply too many states. So nevertheless, imagine this Dutch Netherlands. There's no way, simply no way, to build a final automaton which realizes that in a good way the whole Dutch Netherlands. It's not possible. The real system moreover, but it's not a thing, it's dynamic. So you don't have one automaton, and then the, change, the system doesn't change. Sometimes you have to and change motors in the diesel car. Can it lead to the same car? The specification is the same. It's a law in California. But it's to change the car. So the end car was the thing. So it's dynamic. And it changes the flow in the world. So you simply don't know the system. So certainly you don't understand. So model checking is extremely expensive. And you, and you do modifications to the system, which we have to restart. This one is the same. So, the solution here is again monitoring. The monitoring, group, that's the main idea, I think. It's a brilliant, simple idea of monitoring. We 
do not need to know anything about the system. You just monitor the system. So what does it mean? We look what it's doing. We are verified during my time that the system was okay by just observing somehow how the system interacts with the environment. That's the main idea of this time. So the interaction of the system with the environment, and you can forget about this, but the specification becomes important. Now, the monitor in the simple setting, so it's very simple by simplified setting, is for a formula phi, it's a finite state machine again, and there are two distinguished states, bottom and top in the setting. And what does it mean? What is the semantics of this? So if after some time we prefix the end of the state bottom, it tells us now we are really back, we are outside the specification. And of course, the monitor is not only just saying, yeah, that's good. But we usually do, of course, we then some alarm or some good attack in the system, right? And we have to do something. You know? So that's the bad time. We need an alarm or we need something else. But even the good time is not so good. So if anyone wants to be in a good state, it says, whatever now happens, it will follow the specification. Yeah? But if you think about it, it's also not so good. Because what happens, you can stop the monitor, but usually you, have to, you want to monitor the system. You don't want to say, no, I leave you alone, Dutch does yeah? So what you do is you go to refine the system, and what I, what I said, it's very huge over some Of course, in reality, they don't have one monitor. Yeah? There are many, many monitors, and this again is two component ones. There can be many monitors. And as I said, they have to monitor the control. And also, the, not the recent papers, you want to, at the end, the monitor is the software. So, so somehow, uh, a lot of optimization of the monitor, monitor should be back. Right? So, okay, so that was the first introduction to the monitor. Uh, there is no veto, I can see. Okay. So, for the rest of the talk, I think the monitor looks like this. Right? There will be some formulas. But formulas, you know, yeah. uh, so think of this picture here. And so this is our deterministic final state machine. We have this bad guy here. We are outside, really outside. We can never come back. We are here on the good side. We can never go outside from here. And then there is some other part, Mark Martin calls it ugly, but I think why it's a nice color, he never called it ugly. So, so, but, and so I'm a monitor if and only if it's white part I can reach. So from there I can go there. Okay. So that's the definition of my monitor. Same form of definition. And here's somehow a form of definition. So uh, we have a different defined state machine as we know it. So we look like a final automaton, the two extra states, and there are three conditions. If after reading from the initial state I'm reading X and I'm here that I know I'm outside. So the continuation can never go back to X. Here if I'm on the top side, then whatever I do I will stay inside. And this is the crucial problem, the last one. You look at written some logic and it's wherever I am, wherever I am, there is a continuation that I am in the either I can see something or I can't see. So there's a chance to monitor. Otherwise, you can also stay here. There's some debate whether this is a good definition. Usually, if you take a strong monitor, you want to have it as soon as possible. So, as soon as possible, I can expect that I want to monitor the state. And as soon as possible, I know that I'm not slightly more. But uh, it's not so clear that you really need to insist on this. So, we have some flexibility. And that's the definition of Korean science, which is from 2006. At least the paper I know. And uh, they have a nice definition in language is monitorable if there is a monitor. That's it. Okay. Okay. So this is our monitor. And for the rest of the talk, I take this as a definition. Okay. That's my definition for monitorable. And some, uh, by the way, if there are questions or you're against what I'm saying, just say it. You can, of course, interact with me. It's not, you can monitor me. 
I feel I'm asking to say it's asking to say it's too boring to say it's boring. It's a monetary that is bigger than it's going to be. Why did Sachs and Kuhn come up with it? They wanted, I think that was, I didn't never spoke about it, so, but I think one of the motivations is they wanted to generalize the notion of safety. So, safety is a one sided monitor. It has only this bad state. Because all that that I say I'm lost, I can never go back. That's safety. And you say, no, 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 if you have safety, there's also co safety, there's also why don't we combine it in one concept? So they have this monitorable, so every safety property is monitorable, but that was certainly one of the implications. Um, the concept of monitorable languages is close to the complementation. That's not a nice thing against the safety. The safety is close. But this is close to uh, You see that in nice mathematical formula is almost two. If you look at the state, uh, we have this equivalence, so it's trivial. It's just an attention to states. So, the concept of monitor of the is closed on that section. Well, they may have been thinking a little bit why it's true, but it's basically a product of one so, so, now we have everything that is fully algebra. So, it's capital, capital B here, fully algebra. So, so, that's a fully algebra. So, it's in some sense, uh, it starts to sh the shape becomes a nice mathematical object. It's a fully algebra. It's a lot of safety thing, and it's inside omega or inside regular languages. Omega regular languages is yet the property that the language should be omega running, uh, omega regular. So it's nice. So now we need examples. Learn. How, how do we learn? I think you will learn by examples, of course. But maybe it's good also to learn by something which is certainly not natural. So this is here. And the first view may be, you can see that, give me a little bit why it's not monitored. Globally, so it's a, it's, I try to write it down in a similar like that cell form. Globally, we have the quality that every request, there is some response P and some future. Okay? Why it's not monitored? So why does it make sense to this property? Because imagine, at some point, you should know what's going on. But we never know whether there will be later some P. How can you know? On the other hand, you never know that there's another request which is not nice. So this is some highly non monetary thing. Hmm? But what is highly non monetary? Yeah, like I said, I can I said, there's a mathematical notion for it. So you want to bring it to the mathematical answer? The mathematical answer is that in the abstract setting, every single is monetary alone, the very abstract setting. But this is not a countable union of this is not a countable union of monitor sets, although it's an uh, uncountable union. So this is high, not a countable union of monitor sets. So, uh, but uh, in reality, you think, what, would you ever, <coughs> ever implement this thing? No, real system has buttons. Hmm? Would not ask, wait for, I send for a printer and and then after two days my, my thing is not up. And I go to the system and the say, oh, I want to print it. Why is everybody in front of me? So so we have buffers. So we need buffers. But as soon as we have a buffer, so globally for every request, there is some response in the future after say 10. And here I make it simple. So before another request are sent. Immediately I come on the trail. Why? Because now I can check that sometimes the idea is I can wait for the red situation that there's a regress and not another regress. That's what I want. So I'm monitoring this and see from highly not monitoring to very easy monitoring. So the step. So it might be that uh, it's actually not that big problem. So in reality, uh, if you have bounded buffers, then you can solve things. So this is one of the things. Okay, so, ha, ah, I'm not monitoring. So that's not the test, but I understood the notion. But, yeah. For those who didn't go to Martin Spectrum, I was going to those first time, why it's not monitoring with this nice deterministic automaton. You see, it's 
existed around the mount here, so it's not developed as yet long enough, by the way. So we run the mount here, we repeat here, but sometimes we can go here and here because we can monitor and we stay, but if you go down here, then we don't come back. And you see, you see here that this is not monitor. Because I don't know the future. If I stay here forever, I will be out. If I stay here forever, I will be out. So this is one monitor. But on the other hand, it's still not bad. Because you can say it's, it's, it's compromised. Maybe it's a good compromise if you go to the model checking and monitoring. The model checking is too large. So it's still closer to the language still. You know? so can still say something if we are here or here. If you know this I accept the states, then we know the state and we can still say something. You know? So one should not uh, this active part of, of uh, Martin is maybe not the time. Because I have good information. I have the information about the time states and non-time states. So that's the one thing I think the notion of monitoring is not so clear that we must be strict. So yes, it was monitorable the variables have these statements the bottom on top, which is not part of the monitor of the monitor. No, I, I mean forget this description first. Previous is the time of deterministic fish automatic. Then we have the language. And now if I forget the other things that are put in here, this part and the monitor. Yeah? But it's not a monitor because we have this part in here. But I say it's not a monitor, but might be some think that also this construction is useful. Because the, the real automaton might be too large. And monitors can be very, very small. That's also uh, it can be extremely small. So and sometimes you compromise. You, know, you would like to have the minister automaton, but it's too large. So maybe this was hidden here in some some larger form. I'm not monitoring. So here's another thing which is now I come to the part where you see that sometimes it's not so nice, or not what you really like a language to do. So here I, this is a deterministic Fuji automaton. It has infinite domain A's, global Fuji A, it's highly non-monitor, non That's an NBA, it has finer than many of these, an NBA, not an automaton. For the same reason it's non-monitorable because Close under computation. Here I have a monitor. It's simple. I wait for one C and then I'm happy. One C is enough and I'm happy about it. So now we take the union of these three. I think this is one automaton which has three initial states. And suddenly you see this last thing is monitor for all these three. So you forget a lot of information. <coughs> so it's absorbing property of of monitoring. So it, this, this component absorbs all the all the different things to the other and still it's monitor. So this is a monitor. As you can imagine, it's a minimal monitor. Formally we don't see the state water but we don't need to be very honest. So um, so it's and it's also you see I took it here, it goes out of the language class we have seen before, it's not deterministic, it's not probably deterministic, but it's monitor. So it shows it's not so clear whether to locate this class of languages. Okay, so let's come to a best recognition. Maybe sometimes it's also good. What is the core of the property? The, the core of the monitorability is certainly this logical state. So it says for all x, x is y, such that on the critic x, y, completely in or completely out. That's the core of the monitorability. So we can use this here as an extra definition of monitorable. And then if you have time and state monitorable, you are of course monitorable in, in this notion. So then for example you can look at languages like this. It's monitorable but not time and state, but it's curious. Maybe you would like to have the monitor to be a push down So nice push down automaton can play the role of a monitor. Then the thing is monitorable. Still, the life is probably in the case, not monitorable, but it's abstract setting. We have seen before, maybe for not finding one final state, but here it's needed. And uh, here is the drawback. Here is the drawback. And here is the drawback. Remember the C, I wait for the C, and then I'm happy. 
And that's, in some sense, it's a drawback for the whole notion. Because unlike safety, if you have a safety property and you add some other levels. So I don't, I don't know how to read the last sentence. Yeah. Let L be a subset of A, B to the omega. Yeah, any language. Any language. Then L subset. You add a new letter, let's say. I just embedded a view as a subset in the free letter of the thing. Yeah? And suddenly I become monitorable. For the stupid thing that I wait for my C. Yeah? As I said, it's absorbing thing. And this is a drawback of the notion, I say. It's not nice. You don't wish to say. Like safety property, if I'm safe, and I had a better C or D or whatever, I stay safe. Of course, I stay safe. But, but here suddenly you, you throw in something and then ah, you, you ask your engineer to, to give you some specification to monitor it, and he cheats you like this. Yeah. And you're a manager. Yeah. And somebody says, no, you the specification is a little bit different. We had some software that just works differently by a technical control. Yeah. And it's good. Yeah. As a manager, you don't know what is done. And you cheat. You cheat. Something else. Monitor it. It's easy. This makes it somehow not so clear, but uh, I think there is also a follow the discussion in the literature. And some people were complain that uh, the notion of monitorable and ignoring the sex is maybe not the best. You should look around. So I think here's one. But sometimes life at least for omega on regular lamp is nicer. You remember that you were confused. There are three notions of monitorability. Find it steady, weak, strong. Maybe forgot what it means. The good thing is, and this is phenomenal about omega regular language, we restrict ourselves to omega regular language, everything is the same. So we don't care about a weak or strong monitor, or so it's just a bad abstract notion. So certainly if there's a weak monitor, you forgot. It was under record. I just had to go to some place. Because you can express I'm regular and this, and this was this sentence. So this, by definition, was this sentence. Ball x is x final extension in line in or And suddenly what happens, if you think about omega regular languages, what you like a lot in mathematics is there's an alternation of change of qualifiers. So that's the only thing to think. So ball x, x is y. And suddenly you can turn it wrong. X is y such as ball x. To be clear, by definition, it will Yes, there. That's uh, so this implies this, trivial, and this is trivial because by definition. And now, now I say, now something comes that you say, ah, something special about regular languages. It's not true. That's the next one. It's uh, this one. You see? And you see, there's one witness which works all. And this is, uh, as I said, in general, it's not true. So this is something which is true for. for Fine state, it's not difficult to see. And therefore, we don't, and it, I don't give the proof, but this is closely related to the fact that all these three notions I have weak, abstract, and strong, they are all put together for the definition is good. And uh, so, so once you know that I want to have this sentence, it's not difficult. Because, and, uh, actually, there are also another notions, so many of you won't, don't want to listen anymore to my talk, it's okay. If you want to solve one of the well-known open problems for 20 or 50 years in formal languages, about finite automata, how can it be that they're easy to formulate problems in finite automata, which after 50 years are not solved? That's about the channel conjecture. So we have the channel conjecture? Channel, channel. Channel conjecture. The idea was, it was a time when we sent satellites, the Russians first, unfortunately. So, so, and then, then I think if it goes around the moon, then we lose control. We don't, the satellite comes back and we don't know the state. So we need signals to reset work. We send it to the satellite and then we know in which state it is. That's called the reset work. So you lose the control of the state, you send it work, and uh, we want to know the state to find it. And Shannon conjecture uh, is verified by one of us, but it's not the first time. So it's, it's easy to connect. So it satisfies Shannon's conjecture. 
The basic incestive reset work should have lengths at most n minus 1 to the square. And there's an industry of people working on this. Yeah? Uh, we can make like the most tall ones. The most of them, Misha Boyd, one of the main actors. So this is what they call a sea state. It's actually the bounds of that. And the best bound here would be for general reset was cubic. Right. Yeah. So then you have seen it. But it's closely related to the thing. If you realize that you have this short reset process. Um, completely trivial to do it in n square. n minus 1 to be the little times. To do it in n square. Part 1, part 2. I don't need to watch my watch. No, such much. Such much. Such much. Such much watch. Okay, part two. Part two was a, was a proof. It's an idea of proof. So, when, when I started to work on it, it was around 2012. We were discussing this, it was in Bordeaux, we were discussing monitorability, and I asked him oh, how expensive it is to discuss, to, to, to know whether a language is monitorable. Yeah. And, and so we were working, and we didn't really come to the final answer, but there was something known for I don't know, but who's what I decided to do. So I realized that there's something similar, or we realized, of course, it's not the same statement, but look, it looks similar. Lightness says for all x, it's just some other infinite and in language, and a some similar statement. So I thought, ah, if you know what is the complexity of lightness, maybe it's just the same as this uh, monitorable. So, uh, so what is the complexity inside lightness and uh, what is the complexity inside monitorable? So let's see. If everything is specified by the automaton, then the situation is rather clear that like, almost all these properties say are P-space complete. So it's P-space complete problem with this P automaton to know this or not. And that's my first proof. It was my first proof. And we had this discussion that <coughs> pictures are proofs. Yeah? And I on the side that pictures are proofs, formal proofs. This is my formal proof. Yeah? Of course, I need to use about it, but you need to know something. So first of all, this should be the final state of the measure. There's some final states here. And you must know that uh, the universal problem, just to know whether the automaton accepts everything is a piece based complete problem. That's the thing. And now I add here this two thing here. I actually a letter, a new letter, but if I read this line with this part, if I read here, then I hear and I sign it, you see immediately that this automaton is live because I can go with a B here, I sign it here, and uh, if I know it. If I'm not alive, then there's no chance to go in. So there we go. So there are three bits of end of the world. So this shows more lightness. It's not monitorable, but if I had this here, this state here, then if this was life with the noise. Now this life, life with, with a new state, it's life. So I can always do it in E and I can go in and stay here. So wherever I am, I can read the end. I go here, and if I'm here, I go here. So it's suddenly light. How it became light. But it's not monitored anymore, unless, again, it's the whole language. Because if it's not the whole language, then there are some prefixes where I cannot go here. Therefore, if I read the B, I'm here, and then I may cycle. So it's not monitored. So it's very same construction. And uh, if you translate these pictures, some if you write down what is written, uh, what you see in the picture, then you see that it's a bomb. So, for visual automata, everything is fine. So we know exact answer, it's very complete, and um, the community of, of knowledge checking people are never afraid of P-space complete. So other people are worried that something might be NP-complete, and they're sort of, you know, everything is P-space complete. You do not worry, it's good. Now, let's 
now go back to the LTL. So the specification is not LTL formula, but you should notice that the LTL formula is, uh, yeah, in some way it could be much more difficult to know what it is. So we do the same thing. We ask the same question, but we, we have another encoding. And so also a message, for example, that a problem is not difficult or easy, it's a problem together with the encoding. For example, if you say, think about factorization, if I write down my numbers, stores, universe, and factorization is trivial. So it's the encoding binary which makes it So here the difference comes by the encoding of the automaton binary telephone. So the encoding is the more concise. And the same thing, the question is in life, it's a monitorable, and by the way, in upper bounds, I don't care. Ah, it's in upper bounds. So P space R is so about essentially from the other thing and X space R is standard techniques. So that is standard techniques. So now we, we learned something. It was 2012. And I was asking people, what, what do we know about life? So well, nobody knew, of course, anything about monitorability because it wasn't investigated. But about life, it should be known, I said. And then I got an answer by Andreas Bauer, co author of. Martin. And he said, yeah, in literature there's a paper, for example, an ancient world of pucks. And you see the difference quite many, many years. It's P space computing. Yeah? And, and it was only at that time that people uh, he said also, ah, they doubt, started to doubt. Because uh, the proofs at least were no proofs. It was not convincing. But I think it took a long time before anybody really said no, that's wrong. Because everybody was happy with the answer. You oh, believe really everything is peace space. Yeah. We are so happy. It's peace space complete, so why Nietzsche and Wolf had a paper, POTS is a famous conference. So. Maybe it's, it's intuitive, you know. Maybe too. So I, uh, I don't know. I was skeptical, but I couldn't think about it because I had first this information before I started to think. So I, I went home from Baltimore, and soon after that, Angela sent me an email. Yeah, yeah, for life is X space hunt. So, so, so uh, X space completely is my idea like this. For life is. Hmm? And they sent an email, but it was never really worked out. Because, uh, I don't know, it was the the and the paper was already sent, so, so it took some time. And this year I was back in, 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 in Bordeaux, and I said, ah, you know, you sent this email, you didn't work very well. I'm still working out. Huh? And so we started again to ask people, what is the state of the art? So the, 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 the idea was from getting to put it in this, in this conference. You know, we started papers, and we learned that uh, not Moshe, uh, not Anna, both of Moshe from many papers, and Ganavani started the same paper, and it, already submitted at that time, it's out, and the other things are still out, but it's the same result. Huh? So. I, I must put, put this, because there's a standard for getting credit in science. Yes, so I do mention that credit. The person who published first. Okay. That's the standard of giving credit for okay, science. Yes. Then, uh, yeah. of course, you can say, but on the other hand, uh, I don't say, I don't know, because they didn't submit when in the discussion. They didn't like that, they didn't submit. They still box. Tough. Yeah, but they needed the same one. Hmm? We submitted it. You submitted it. We submitted it to this one. Which one? This, this one. It's, it's paper. No, but they only had it, right? Yeah, but they had it as well. 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 I don't care. No. I, I, I don't care because I'm not part of that anymore. Uh, I think. Uh, um, uh, I, I, let's not discuss it. So, so they have a paper, and we learned it, 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 it it's now published in CSL. Yeah? And they have it, and the following problem is actually an x space complete. Yeah? And uh, that's the second proof I want to give. And because I think why I do want to give the proof is here, because you know, many of you are used to so NP completeness proofs, and probably not so many people have seen how you can encode X-based problems. So, so maybe you know. So 
will have some slides. Of course, it will not go into the details, yes, but maybe there are at least two ideas. Of course, I'm just not happy that they didn't touch. Ah. Yeah. Yes. So, the implementation for X space now. We have a generic group. We start with the Turing machine, it's an X space machine, and it is an X space Turing machine. Then, at the edge, we have input words of length n. In configuration, we can think of words. You see, we have these names. Exactly, and I want to have space exactly to the end. That's okay. And then I have some marker. And from now the blocks here are written actually in the letter I see, or the symbol, plus the position of my way for So this is the trick. Yeah? You, you make it large, you have a letter, and instead of saying I'm in position 3 because my letter next to me is position 2, I write down the position in the binary form. So then the start of the provision looks like this. 0, 0, 0, 1, and then you add this 2 to then minus 1 should be this binary number. So that's it. Configuration. The next thing is like like in Cox's proof, you proceed like this, you write down a sequence of of configurations, and then we have to add partly something what are called pi. And right? this is a crucial role. But this is a sequence of configuration. And an LCL formula at least can express an infinite order of this here, but this each of this is a configuration. This kind of double idea. So what is the um, thing, what is P? So now it seems the word is not in language, that is a mistake. Somewhere locally, in some position I, the next position, exponentially far away, there is something which is not correct with the, with the uh, table of the Turing machine. But it's too far away. There is a point I cannot control it. It's exponentially far away. So we need a trick to locate the mistake. And the trick is that you say, by the way, also this letter, this, this, this techniques is not, are not original. No? These people, people working with these algorithms around to do it this way. No? <coughs> so we add as many letters as we have binary D binaries. So P1, P2, P3. And now we say a position, for example, we call it position P10 by saying that in binary, I say it's 0, yes. Binary is 1. Zero, one. So we see that the pi infinitely often want to see this position by saying we end up in the word pi p1, p3 to the other. So we see the mistake. We get code this. So what happens if, if the word is not accepted as a mistake everywhere? So it's okay. It's life. But if there is something which is not in the language, uh, if something is in the language, and there is one run where there is no mistake. And whatever we do here, we cannot accept. Because we don't still find the mistake. So then that's why after seeing the correct of the computation, we are not live. So it's different. So, so of course it's now a little bit sloppier headway, but there are two things. How to encode, how to encode positions which are exponentially far away by this trick. And the other trick, which is also standard, instead of Euclid coding A, B, C, I write down A1, A2, A3. That, that's it. So, huh. but the problem is all these rules to lead to something which is high, which is not more mature. So we have no idea so far to have any proof, or we might say the intuition is the same, it should be uh, X based, but it's not. Yeah. We have no idea what it is. But there's another thing which is possible actually. It could be that monetarily is not complete for any any context. Like like what kind of is possible. But the is not complete unless it is Still we don't think it can do it in point of time. So it might be that this problem is not complete for anything, and still it can do it better. You can't do it better than the next space. I cannot really rule out the thing. It might be a natural problem, a natural candidate. Maybe it's wrong, maybe it's in key space. No. Okay, part three. Ten minutes? Fifteen minutes. It's good. You see how half half is here. Ten minutes plus one minute plus two. 
part three. Hey, I mean, the last part of the cinema. cinema. Okay, part three, what is part three? Monitor of language classes. So I come back to my first, uh, what I said first, but I uh, use again about the notion about the monitor. So what is the correct notion? What is a good notion or where are the weak points or what can be so let's see. So here you have a standard class, so the prominent language class. Yeah? So you know all of them here. So a deterministic language means there's a deterministic encoded with complement, deterministic and simultaneously coded with language. That's a non-trivial thing. That's the result of study that we have these deterministic we usually are but I can say it right now. It's a deterministic pre automaton where all strongly connected components of all, all have final states or no state is final. So, so the acceptance is just known by the strongly connected component. Right? I'm accepting the component and rejecting And that's exactly this. And this is finally not true. And take you know already that PDA, how all states are final, co state is the complement. It's called currently sometimes life is discovered. So, but uh, sometimes, and it's finally, it's very helpful to, uh, to forget semantics and to go back to standard topological topology. Because the terms were not invented like this, they were invented such that it fits to the topology. Topology, there's a first, you have another person, basic notions open and closed, so why not? Safety is closed. So the model that we speak about safety sets well because they are closed sets. Co-safety is open. Digitalism probably means G data. I know you're afraid of G data. There's, there's something uh, you see here as it like this castle. And digitalism property which are simultaneously are G data and SF sigma. I will tell you in a second why it is something to say obligation. Life is we have and control the So that's the Franco and all the Franco, German Franco, Franco German uh, notation. So do you know what F sigma means? I think the first one is guarantee, uh, and the second one is. So oh, sorry, I uh, put it in later, sorry. So we get the green one. I might be wrong. Uh, F is the French term for close, family. Sigma is sum, it's union. So it's a countable union of closed sets. Then we have on the other side of the rhyme, it's a German one. There's Gehrer, Gehrer, it's, it's open, it's Gehrer. And Delta is a nice job of a Deutsch intersection. So, how do the intersection of the sets? So, Franco, German Franco notation. Uh, right. And you can, but for us, we have lucky. Think of Delta as deterministic image. So, if you see G Delta and Sigma, remember that Delta for us is deterministic language. Delta is deterministic. Languages, so that's it. And likeness means then set, and, and this is by the way a brilliant closure of closed sets. That's something not true again, because in general it's not true. It's true. Monitorial, that was something I said to Martin Alex, give it, monitorial must be a topological thing. And it is, if you think about it. And also the monitor contraction, you see immediately the boundary. Do you remember the boundary? It's a closure without the interior. And so a monitor becomes difficult as a boundary. So if you stay in the boundary, you're not monitor. But if you are always on the edge before left or right, then, then the boundary doesn't have any interior, and then it's monitor. So uh, the boundary you can maybe you don't like the term low that dates, but but it's the same. The boundary doesn't have to be because the boundary is close. So that's at the top. All of these have nice topological notions. And these ideas here were just, of course, the two of them already hierarchy, and then they invented this notion to fit back to them here. That's the way it went. So they took up this, uh, this, uh, this intuition of all the time here. Then we see also in general topology, we find sentences like the uh, statement like, all of your language in, in the bare space. Which are detailed and monitored. So they have a boundary which is more dense. And now you don't know what a bare space is. Now it doesn't matter, complete metric space, not a bare space is 
group is more difficult. So in particular, this is true by computing topology that G delta is like sigma so that this included. Yeah? So then how do you see the fact that which is not trivial, that it's the same as the group. So, so there's also a monitor construction involved. This, uh, this is given in the series automata. So Schleier has shown this. We have given the series automata and this each strongly connected components either final than one, then we can minimize one, and so and then you have two states in such a thing, which is bottom and top. But sometimes at the end you go to strongly connected components you can leave, and you can merge them all in one state, and so you have much. So if the language is near monitorable, yeah, they are monitorable and they have this property. So, and uh, five minutes ago. Okay, so there's also a notion of portion automata. So what is a portion automata? You learn an automata theory how to determine a finite state. Determine the finite state of automata. You go to the portion, the left portion, and that's it. So we, we do exactly the same. Not the cause of it. We, we take the, the minimal uh, approaches and we look at this. Yeah. And so what happens? The first thing, maybe you have never heard about this construction in Omega, if you have no Omega regular lenses. Maybe you've never had even seen this. Because there's no good reputation for that. It was studied in the 50s and 60s by Kachenburg, by the way, and some other player, and showed the book uh, because they are not very useful. They are just too small. So for example, you can have one state, or it's one state for different dominates, all at the same question. Okay, one state is nonsense, you can recognize anything useful. There are uncountably many L which have only one state. It's also. Huh? I didn't understand this proof here, but in the paper of Steiger, he says it's the record to the back to the So yeah. this was highly many, many years. It's as many as many subsets as there are there. They have this problem. So it's a very thing. But if it's high state, so the final state is a notion they use that the, the this number of of course, it's finite, and it's called finite state. So if it's finite state, then the quotient of quantum is finite, and it's monitorable. So if L is monitorable, then the quotient of quantum is a strong monitor by it. You see, suddenly these old concepts that come somehow back in this monitorability that quite relate to, to this uh, concept, which usually are not useful. Yeah. Because they're monitor. They don't accept that it's small. Yeah. But if it's monitorable, they are good monitoring. And you can minimize them. Oh, so this is and you have a canonical logic. You can take minimal automaton and then you have it. And uh, for example, this one this is a quote of automaton. This is some this was a request response by Buffer. Yeah, this is more than statement language. And the complement now is inherently non-deterministic, so I show non-deterministic automata, but there is no final one in the And if that's non-deterministic automata, if you forget it, you can say also it's, uh, it's, uh, it's monitored. So we find easily an example, a natural example, which is deterministic, but the complement is not. So, so uh, somehow it's, it's uh, the quotient, uh, so I mean, it gives you some, also some standard model of the monitor. <coughs> and they are closer to the language than, than uh, the minimal one. And they are farther, they are, they are more abstract than just taking the DBA. The DBA can be much, it's sitting somewhere in the middle. And, uh, and it's equal, yeah, oh, problem, oh, last time. Safe. So all this last step. So M is a class of all monitor So the question is, is it exactly the entity that we already have done? So that we have well, we have this nice property. That if you look at G delta, so it means the dependency languages, we intersect the monitor of the Boolean algebra generates everything. And it's possible because 
as I showed you, there are languages that complement those words. And this could be actually the analog, what is known for for um, for omega omega languages in total. Huh? So Boolean algebra by by deterministic languages, which is to that much, is everything. So this would be an analog. It would be a nice analog, but they're a tricky thing, I don't know. So they call it actually traded performance, this question. I know that's different, but I cannot prove at the moment that the Boolean flow is different. Although I did not spend too much time to prove it, to disprove it. So I cannot at the moment, I think there is no reason why it should not be the same. Uh, I might even say, so maybe there's an even easier simple reason why it's not possible. Now, the last problem I think uh, it's more work to do. If you want to come back to uh, practical things, I think uh, you have seen the Dutch Shelterworks. It's a highly distributed system, and so you need some sort of distributed uh, control as well. It's done, and you need some mathematics about this. <laughs> mathematics should be a sequence automaton if you want to stay close to, to the world of finite, infinite words, certainly a sequence automaton, which are the closest and they are rather powerful already. And if you go beyond this, then the world becomes not so nice, usually much more difficult. For example, basic properties you would like to have about the maturity uh, is certainly, I think, set by forgiveness, not not bounded in general forgiveness. So it's worth so good matching or Push down. So what is the general looking here? And yeah, thanks for the talk. Thank you for questions. Good time. Of course. So the 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 X space even, let's even assume that this is really express hard, maybe we don't know, okay? But the example is that the monitorability is, is really a hard problem. But the reality is that you, it's easy to build, it's not easy, we know how to build the monitor just for the safety power. Now, which in principle could be double exponential size. Yeah, okay. if you start at the farm. Mm -hmm. If you start at the farm. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and you do it for the Integration of the formula. So you give you something monitor for the for good prefixes and for bad prefixes. And now you just basically need to find out whether the union of them is equivalent to the formula. So if you can if you can just build if you can build a, a monitor wizard for the for the good prefixes or bad prefixes and it doesn't go on, then you cannot check the ability either. Yeah. So so, so, so it's not like a hard problem. But the hard problem is really because hard to monitor. Yeah, I agree. When you, that was the first thing. Mm -hmm. Once you have the monitor, it's easy to check. Yeah. So, so you need to basically reach the ability to get on some way. It's not quite true because you need this. If you have any, if you have the but now that's easy. You know where the six states are not going to have. So we just need to be able to design the monitor without a door. I could say the same thing. You don't know something. I mean, what, on the other hand, you can say uh, that's why I have this weak and strong motion. You don't need a monitor to decide. I have to show a weak monitor to do that. Yeah. And there it showed also the paper that can be a huge gap between the real monitor and the weak monitor to just synthesize I'm monitoring. Yeah? So, at least from a mathematical viewpoint, there might be a side way to do it without constructing the But of course, I don't have any idea. <coughs> So, which of these main concerns is finite traces? We don't speak a lot about it in the uh, book. But the whole specification, and which are specification for the things that we've seen in the Marcus lecture, uh, one of the big challenges is to give the semantics to finite traces. As soon as we have the semantics for finite traces, everything becomes untrue, of course. So, I'm wondering if there is any, uh, 
features of this question is beyond the theoretical features. Because my point is that um, everything is mutual, you just have to know what is mutual. Was it a question? I cannot really say yes. <laughs> I think uh, and you're right, I said that's what I said. So of course in reality you will have a buffer problem. So if you have a buffer, of course the principle. So and also I do, I think you don't need really monitor, you also if you know now I'm set that I cannot go over there and there, then it's also information and you know, need to do something else. And the good thing about this monitor is that you can compose them easily. So, so the one, we have many monitors. So I think if one monitor doesn't work, and then we have less. I don't know whether you could have, there should be a higher structure. Other <coughs> questions? I don't have any questions myself because uh, we just have to wait one week at all. No, and I think uh, also due to the uh, timing reasons, I think we should thank Father again.